Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Thursday, November the 12th. My name is Barry Enerson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions for me, you can use this email address. This is a link for the free room. It is 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our free trading room. Room is open Monday to Friday between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I share my screen and I'm live on the mic. In the email you're getting, you will see a link to my homepage and on my homepage, you will see a promotional discount for 15 one five percent off, either the first month only or the entire year of a Trade Idea subscription. You'll also see some training links. You'll see the link to get the trade of the week every week. Um, also, what else is there? Uh, you'll see a link for all the scans that I'm sharing also. So a lot of good information on my homepage. All right, I wanna talk about a couple of the alerts that happened from the AI today because it's a question we get a lot. And I just want to show you, in fact, let me just, so let me just move this over a little bit. So when I click on it, it's not going to, there we go. So look at, and I should change this to maybe a five minute time frame. This is going to show you a little better. Yeah. So here's an alert for CELH. Now I mentioned this one and I said, you know, because people get very, very hung up on, man, I couldn't get it right at 27.50, so, you know, by the time I saw it, it was 27.60, or, so it must be over. So, I mentioned a couple of things on this one, uh, in particular. First of all, this is an earnings play, all right? So, usually earnings plays are pretty active all day long. So, you know, you, you know, the, it's not that the volume is going to completely dry up. I mean, there, there, you'll have some lulls, and then you'll have pick up, and you can have some lulls. But what I was really trying to point out is look at this. It got up to 27.50 and then it kind of, I'm not saying tremendous consolidation, but lots and lots of opportunity for you to get in right here, you know, around that 27.80 mark, you know, from 27.50. And look what it did from there. Now, I'm not saying every single alert is going to be like this, but look what it did from there. I mean, it's been choppy. I mean, this has not been, a, you know, the easiest hold, but I mean, even, even from here, you know, when it finally broke, you know, almost straight up, all the way up to 3037 from this 2780. So, I mean, you know, there are ways to use the AI without getting so hung up on, I couldn't get in right at the penny. The other question we get a lot is, well, can, can, the, can trade ideas be used to swing trade? So, and can the AI specifically? So look at LI, LI, um, if you're not familiar with this one, this is one of the China, um, in the China EV sector, uh, electric vehicle sector, along with NIO and XPEV are just on fire today. Now, let's take a look at it. Here's on the monthly chart. No resistance, why? Because this is an all time high. So if you looked at this and this met your, you know, maybe the, the psychology of how you like to trade, if you don't mind holding things, then there's no reason if this closes well that you in theory i'm not and again this is not a recommendation but there's no reason why you couldn't hold this you know and use it as a swing trade now some people might say well i'm not i don't want to swing it when it's at an all-time high maybe i want to wait for a pullback and that's fine i, I get that but you know I'm not, and there's no real but to that i mean that, that's valid but you know look, look i said but again but look at nio so these are the three you know nio and then the other one is xpev these are the three big China. They're all at all time highs. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Just not populated. Just a second here. Okay, I'll do it again. You see, I mean, these all three of those stocks are experiencing the same type of move. XPEV, NIO, and uh, and LI. And so Again, it's up to you whether, you know, if it meets your trading plan to swing trade, uh, well, this is a definitely a candidate. You know, again, you might want to wait for a pullback, but that's, that's entirely up to you. But definitely strong, strong stock. So two really, really nice ones from the AI. I mean, one's up 9%, one's up 7.5%. So, I mean, right now. And by the end of the day, who knows where this is going to be. So a couple of very, very nice ones from the AI today. And um, now... This one, B and is it BNTC? Yeah, well, that's kind of crazy. Now, we're talking about this in the room earlier, and um, this was this. I actually took this trade uh, right around here, and made a little bit of money, but it's really starting to pull back now, and kind of just you know, 
I, I was actually thinking that this might be breaking out now. You look at this, take a look at the weekly chart on it. Look at all the volume that is coming into it right now, okay, on the weekly chart. I mean, it's just, you know, you can just start, it's just significant how much volume is coming in uh, based on all the previous weekly candles. So we look at this and think, well, maybe it's, it's finally going to break out today, you know, and but it, it looked like it really was. Uh, I had an alert set right there, I think it was around 325, and another one right there at 325, and then it hit a high today of about 322 before it, before it came back, and then broke right through that. It just didn't keep going. <laughs> That's all I can say, it didn't keep going. It looked awesome. I thought this was really gonna start to run, because again, when you look at this weekly chart, look how much room it has. But anyway, um, I will continue to watch it for the balance of the day and, you know, tomorrow and maybe next week. Um, you know, this is starting to go down on, you know, decreasing volume. But we'll just have to see. I mean, I have an alert set up here around 335. And if it takes it out, I might get interested again. All right, everybody, I do want to uh, get back into the trading room. So I'll bring back my capture program. Uh, if you have any questions for me, you can use this email address. The link for the free room, I'll open the room tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.